Before I get into anything Sixer related, let me talk a little March Madness. This has without a doubt been the craziest tournament ever witnessed. Just about every game has been close at one point or another. It has also been multiple buzzer beaters to the likes of Michigan and Loyola Chicago, twice. And to top it all off, a 16 seed defeated a 1 seed for the first time in NCAA men's basketball history. Congrats to the UMBC Retrievers, even though they were eliminated by Kansas State the next round. Because of all this going on, I know nobody had a perfect bracket at all. Plus, this hype may have taken my focus off the Sixers slightly, but I'm here in focus now. As the season winds down, the Sixers are in a prime spot to clinch a playoff berth. With a record of 38-30, and 30, they are poised to make a run. Now, I'm not saying Philly is winning the championship, but they will be a tough out come playoff time. But who truly knows? I mean, after all, this is the year of the underdog. Eagles, hint, hint. For the Sixers, everything has been going just fine. A few losses have hurt, especially the Pacers game, which I was at, by the way. They kept it close the whole time, but could not seem to pull ahead. It was a tough loss to swallow. No need to fear, however. As it stands, the Sixers have the easiest schedule remaining and the most games left to play. Both work heavily in their favor if they can play their cards right. I mean, just look at the standings as it is. Philly is still only a game and a half out from the three seed. In all honesty, with the way the Cavs have played lately, the Sixers could snag that seed. It has been an all-around team effort to get this position. Of course, it starts with a fantastic coaching job done by Brett Brown. He has made the necessary personnel changes and rotations to allow the team to get these clutch wins. And the players have stepped up. It is amazing to see TJ McConnell get the recognition he deserves and is finally being discussed as a sixth man of the year candidate. The newcomers Ilya Sova and Bellinelli have been huge for this team and the veteran leadership is showing. And B continues to show why he is the future of not only this team but the league. And Ben Simmons is starting to run away with the rookie of the year award after he passed Magic Johnson for most triple doubles in a rookie season. With all this, and how hot the team is becoming, I am not going to talk faults this time around. And with that, this concludes the update about our Sixers. Please subscribe, and remember, and listen up Stephen A. Smith, don't ever stop trusting the process. Bushy Blue, off. Oh.